So welcome to the tutorial on the topic circular convolution using CMS 320C6748 digital signal processor. In this video tutorial I will explain how to perform circular convolution operation using digital signal processor. Myself J. Prabhinjus working as assistant professor in Kamraj College of Engineering and Technology uh, right. So, double click setup CC Studio in your desktop shortcuts. And the software will now get opened. So, here you have to select this TMS320C674X and click save and quit. It will also start the stored commercial studio and no need to update your updates. the software is getting opened so this is the desktop software so to create a new project i have to click project and select new project and i have to give the project name a sample sample 3 here and it is stored in ccc studio version 3 my project sample 3 and uh, so now I have to create my source file. For that I have to use file, new, source file. So, so here this is the window where I have to develop my code. So, so here I am not going to type the code. I am just simply copying the code that is already developed. So my programs are in this folder, convolution, circular convolution, circular convolution. So I am copying the code circular convolution code and I am pasting the circular convolution code in the program window. So this is the program of circular convolution. So in the previous video tutorial, so all the input data are get from the memory address. But in this circular convolution program, so I am giving my input data in the program itself. So the x of n data is given as 1, 2, 3, 4 and h of n data is given as 1, 2, 2, 2. And x of n equal to 4 and h of n equal to 4 that indicates the length of x of n and h of n. So all the input data symbols response are everything fed into the program. And this y of n indicates the output. I am going to see my output in this particular memory locations. So when you execute the program immediately the results will be stored in this memory location and using this memory location we can assess our output data so here the for circle convolution the length of the input sequence should be same the, both the x of n and h of n length should be same so here it is 4 4 uh, and y of n is the variable name is to, to store the output so here in convolution, circular convolution, the input sequence length should be is equal to the output sequence length. I am making my output variable as the length of my output sequence. And then I am using this convolution logic x of m star h of n l perform the circular convolutions operation. So once the code is developed, you just go to you can save the code. So I am saving the code in by the same project folder. That is sample 3. So here I have to give the name circular convolution dot C. So this program should be saved in the format of dot C format. This is the C code you are developing in your code composer studio. Then I can go to project and bolt and check whether there is any error in your code. If there is no error, then you have to copy the three modern files from your program common file. It is linked DSP, VSK6748, VSK6748.h. These three files are recorded to execute your program when you bolt your program after connecting the kit so, so my project folder is sample 3 i'm copying these three linear supporting files linking support files particular folder then i have to add these three files then right click and select add files to project and select here all files 
and then select the three files that is circular convolution that is your c code then linger underscore dsp and then your uh, psk678 6748 files click open so after adding these three files now we have to connect the kit to the software processor so these are the three important files that we have to add to your software now i have go to debug now connect your kit to the processor the kit is getting connected you can see this message disassembly once the kit is get connected to your system on or your software now if i can press rebuild all if you don't add these three files that is vsk 6748.c linker dsp dot command when you click rebuild all you will get some errors so you have to properly add these three files zero error zero warnings so in this experiment i have already told all the input data are given in the program itself so there is no need to give the input data in the memory address directly we can see the results the program is executed from the kit directly we can see the results in the memory location so here we can load the program so debug and we have to the program is created in our dot out program is created inside this debug folder it's sample three dot out. This file you have to load to your processor. This is the machine understanding code. C code we can understand, but that is machine understanding code is given by this code composer studio. After once you loaded the code, you have to run the code from your kit. So you can go to debug and then click run. Now the code from your kit is getting executed. Now to see the results, go to V project memory and then select the output address where you want to see the results Just copy the output address and we paste the address in the memory panel and select the data format that is 32 bit signed integer format you can see the results for data 15 17 15 13 the convolution results to weave these results in the form of a graphical form you can go to view graph and you can see the results in the form of a graphical form so here time frequency and here you have to give the output data address that is 8001000 and how many data so you want to see, see four datas then you have to give your war should data format should be in the form of a bar so you can see the results in the form of a um, graphical form Thank you for watching the um, thank you for watching the video tutorial